Hey, how's it going? It's JD from Car Flipping Secrets, uh, coming to you live and direct from my basement office and uh, gym, and uh, just pacing back and forth right now while I make this video. It's actually snowing again outside, because um, we're in the dead of winter, but uh, that's not what this video is about. The reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to tell you about a huge mistake I made the other day that easily cost me uh, you know, anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500, maybe even $3,000 in profit. Uh, on a car that I could have that I could have easily got my hands on and flipped. So, uh, but before I get into that, real quick, if you're not a, a subscriber of my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. There should be uh, a button underneath this video, or um, just go to uh, YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash car flipping secrets, all lowercase. And um, also, there should be a link underneath this video uh, that goes to. Um, it goes to an opt-in page, basically, so you can get on my email list. It's another way I could, I could reach you. I won't be spamming you with offers or anything like that, but I have a cool video I want to share with you, and you can only get it if you get on my list, and it's about the art of negotiation. So click the link below this video, um, or click uh, or go to uh, carflippingsecrets.com forward slash free tips. And now let's get back to the story. So like I've been saying, I'm on the prowl looking for a car to flip. I want to, you know... Um, it's just that, that I just got the itch, you know what I mean? So, um, and I came across this Hyundai Sonata. It was an 05, it was an 06. It was that new, actually it was an 07. It was that new body style, not the newest body style that you see out on the road right now, like that you could buy, at, you know, at the Hyundai dealer, but the style before it, which is a nice looking car. Um, it's actually a solid car and Hyundai's come a long way and, uh, probably one of the top 10 cars you would want to flip. Um, you know, depending on what kind, you know, what market you want to serve. You know, it's the perfect car for someone who needs something to get back and forth to work, you know, back and forth to the store and, you know, you know, to take their kids around to whatever, or perfect for a commuter who's going to school. It's just an all around solid car. So this guy was selling one, um, on Craigslist, of course, uh, not too far from me. It was a, uh, 2007 with like 120,000 miles, but the training was blown. Now, a lot of people would run away from something like that, but I valued the car and assuming the car was running good, you know, the car was easily worth, um, you know, I could probably, depending, you know, give or take, I could probably sell the car for any, anywhere between 4,500 and six grand. And, um, and he wanted 1,800 for it with a blown tranny. And he was asking 1,800, meaning I'll take, I'll take, uh, you know, basically you're saying I would love 1,800, but I'll take whatever I can get. So a car like that, I'd probably make an offer for like 1,000, maybe 1,200. And then, you know, either you, you, uh, you get the training fixed at like a place like Amco or your local shop that you have a guy that you deal with. He could probably get it fixed for, you know, tranny rebuild is like 1200 to 1500 Or you could get a tranny, you know, you could buy a tranny from a junkyard off a car that got, you know, that was totaled with low miles. And you can get a used tranny, you know, there or on eBay, or something from you know five or six hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks, and then have somebody just swap it out. It's probably save you a few hundred bucks, but either way, to me, it wouldn't have mattered. I would have, uh, I would have, um, what you call? I would have just probably just got the uh, got the tranny rebuilt at a, at a you know tranny shop, and still had plenty of room to make money. So what happened was the day that I found the car, I was gonna go look, but it was probably the coldest and windiest day of the winter so far so i was like you know what man i don't feel like sitting out there in this freezing cold uh weather to look at this guy's car i'll go look at it the next day i'll go look at it tomorrow and there was a, the mistake was because when i went and looked to see if it was still you know listed um the listing had been deleted by the author uh later on that day or i actually was like late at night because i must have woken up or whatever but the next day the car was already sold before the next day so that day when i saw it and i should have well i saw it like the night before then i went to look at it i think i saw it wednesday night and i was gonna go look at it thursday but it was freezing and it was windy and it was i was like i'm not even gonna go there it was like 40 minutes you know half hour to 40 minutes from my house on long island and um you know i basically didn't jump on the opportunity and as a result, I lost out on easily fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars. So I guess the moral of the story is: what's the lesson here? When you see a great deal, pounce on it. Um, don't be like I was and lose out on a great deal. You gotta, you gotta strike while the iron is hot because you're not the only one who's looking. For, not only are there people who just need a car who are looking for a, for a car like that, but there's also people like people like us who want to turn around and sell the car for profit. I was actually gonna get this car fixed. 
you know, insure it, um, you know, with like low mile, uh, you know, the cheapest like insurance crap, you know, whatever. I was actually going to, you know, do, the, do what you're supposed to do, you know, transfer the title, get it on the road and drive it around with a for sale sign on it and have it listed on Craigslist while I was driving it um, because I just wanted to, you know, why not? I still would have made money. Would have made, like I said, I would have made anywhere from fifteen hundred to three thousand because it was um, that solid of a car, and the deal, you know, the deal was just begging me to go jump on it, and I missed out. So don't ever pass on. Don't. Not that I pass on the opportunity. I procrastinated. If you see a good deal and you have the money, go look at the car. Do your due diligence. Go look at the car. Make an offer, and uh, you know, make it happen. Don't don't say oh, I'll just go tomorrow because the weather sucks today or it's raining or. You know, I have, you know, my favorite shows on TV that I can watch. Don't do it. Don't make the mistake that I made because I just lost out on, on an easily, an easy profit. Um, and uh, I'm actually pissed off, but I wanted to share this lesson with you. Uh, just to goes, goes to show that everybody, you know, it, it happens to everyone. Um, and I just don't want it to happen to you. So with that said, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I already mentioned it earlier. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like these videos, I have a lot more. Um... And I'll be making more and get on my list, my email list, so I can, you know, send you other cool stuff too. All right? Hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.